exploration and overcoming challenge has always been a huge part of human nature. I guess that's why we feel so alive when we find some wilderness to be discovered. The journey is the destination and nature is the remedy. That's why overlanding and having a home on wheels has always intrigued me. And we all have to start somewhere. So why not start at the Pisgah National Forest in Western North Carolina? Hello, my name is Victoria Rose. Welcome to North Carolina. We're at a overlanding trail. I'm very excited, it's my first time. Well, this is a very beginner, easy mode trail. So then we're going to do a little overlanding to find a campsite to sleep tonight in our vehicles. I had to take Yuki to the mechanic. It's seven something in the morning and I have to take Yuki into the mechanic because her brakes have been squeaking. I know that's not good and I don't know why because she was just inspected, but it's first come first serve. So I never get up this early, but I'm gonna take her in and see the diagnostics. I really hope it's not so expensive. And I was really so pleased because they didn't charge me. They looked over everything. They said everything is okay. I, nothing needs to be fixed. And I was just so happy. So she's approved to go on this trail. I, the brakes were squeaking just a little and it was, it's not like an actual issue. Now we finally get to go on our very first adventure. <laughs> say, plant kindness and gather love. I'll hit these people, just run them over. All, whenever you're overlanding, it's okay if you run people over because they're not supposed to be on the overlanding trail. So that's the one exemption law wise. <sighs> that's a joke. So usually, overlanding trails. Um, they're only suited to four-wheel drive and four-wheel drive capable vehicles. This one, I think it's because it's such an easy mode that, wait, which way is it? Probably the rough road. Yeah. We just got some gas before this and um, now we go on the rough road, which to be fair is a gravel road. I'm not the best suited to the overlanding lifestyle. Usually overlanding is like you're completely like self-sustained to live in your vehicle and get over rough terrain to camp wherever. Along this overlanding trail is hike, hiking places. Look at Yuki shining in the sun, she's so glorious. <laughs> this is lovely, just not driving to actually have a destination, but just driving through nature slowly and not even driving. <laughs> so we're getting a little more rough up here. It's a lifestyle, man. It's just a lifestyle. I'm an overlander. It's just what I am. It's the core of my being. <laughs> and I hope my tire doesn't get a hole poked in it. The nice thing about being with another person, though, is if something does happen, we can always have transportation back out. And this really gets me an idea of the things you need to bring with you. And because it's such a beginner trail, like everything will be fine. But I need a satellite radio. I need a good spare tire. I need to figure out how to change a tire. I need security things like that. We're really climbing up a mountain right now. Oh, be careful with these huge rocks sticking out of the ground. Put my tires, but if I fall off this cliff, like we're dead. <laughs> I don't know where this is gonna let out. I feel like we're climbing up to the mountaintop. <laughs> See that? Um, I 
I just don't know where this road's gonna let out at. We've been driving on it for a while now and I'm a little nervous, but if there was some sort of trouble, there's nowhere to turn around. And yeah, it just really gives me perspective of how much you need to prepare for these types of things. And I think you just learn on the way of the things that you need to get in sticky situations. We've been driving on this road for a while and just looking at the map, keep going and see what happens. Overlanding can mean something different to everyone. It's an open term for reliance on a vehicle to explore with and be able to live and survive out of, with a focus on the journey of the adventure. And you have to accept whatever comes along the way. Oh, shit. I did not expect that to be a Overestimated ability. Okay, we're all right. Right, we're all right. Scary. There's so many big potholes that I cannot drive past. This whole time I've been driving like 15 miles per hour. And I just don't want to hurt Yuki. And I'm just a very careful grandma driver. And that gave me a heart attack. <laughs> we did it. We survived. We're in smooth, smooth road again. It feels so smooth. So here we are in front of Looking Glass Waterfall. Beautiful. The Pisgah National Forest has mile-high peaks, waterfalls, and heavily forested slopes. It's about 500,000 acres of hardwood forest with whitewater rivers and hundreds of miles of trails. You can also camp for free if you can find good camp spots, which is our next priority. After about 15 minutes of driving down some rough roads, we drove up and found our spot. We found our camping spot, the perfect spot. We had to kind of overland again to get to this spot. And it's so quiet, like, listen, like, shh. There's no noise. It's my first overland, my first camping with Yuki, and also my first camping with my sisters for a very long time. So I'm very excited about this. It is a mess in here, so I'm going to clean it up. <laughs> All right. It is chilly. It is quite cold. It's going to get down below freezing tonight. Um, it's going to be a very cold night. I'm so grateful to have two of my five siblings here with me. The last few years, my view on life, ideals, goals, and lifestyle has changed so dramatically. Being around my sisters and nature is the most peaceful thing for me. They live a more simple and natural lifestyle than me. I'm hoping to learn from them. One thing my sister Lark and I have in common is that we both built out our vehicles to be able to sleep in. She actually converted an entire ambulance into a home before this and it was beautiful and she was able to sell it for a good price. This is her manual Toyota Tacoma, which is a truck that I wanted to get originally but I just couldn't afford. She built the base and the storage and drawers and even wood burnt the designs. There's tons of storage. She has a huge two burner stove and all the camping essentials. Her bed looks much more comfortable than mine, and I'm sure that it is. Mine's like three inches. I really need to get a new mattress. But look at that, it's so comfy. In any case, we need to scavenge for some wood for a fire. We need to build a fire for a few hours just to warm up. Got some firewood. Had a pee in the woods, and now I'm just gonna make some food. I'm gonna make some of this chickpea spice, chickpeas. Oh, there's a bug in my leg. It's so convenient having a stove. Mm, warm soup. So it's supposed to get in the 20s tonight. I just didn't realize how difficult overlanding is because that's an easy trail. If I was doing like actual overlanding trails, I would get new tires and get 
a really nice extra spare tire. Probably get some tire repair. I would get an extra fuel can, uh, like a GPS that w navigates without a s cell service. But there's a lot of um, precautionary things that you need to take with you. I figured since I have my sister with me, if one of us breaks down, we have the other one for backup. The nice thing about prepackaged first aid kits like this is they have everything. And I have a knife I think in here somewhere. Perfect. Look, I'm a man. It's another person trying to infiltrate our campsite. Go away. I don't know how that would work. Is this a fire starting to? What is this? Wash my face, my eyes are dry. I'm just gonna stick to the easy method and use a wipe. Cause I'm cold. I want how to have fire. <laughs> she did it without me seeing. I feel more safe now. Cause fire is life and also a marshmallow cooker. Okay. So you're pretty good at making marshmallows. <laughs> <Jesse. working. laughs> you wanna make this some marshmallow sticks too? Sure. That's the only thing I can do. <laughs> I'm pretty useless. Take thy flight far above the sorrows of this dark night. Because the smoke just keeps coming over here. It's my job to stick my own mark. <laughs> that tastes like childhood. Yeah. Out fire! Oh, show! Oh. <laughs> the tiny ones were in his broken. So, who here was a front marshmallow type? I like the brown. I like burnt, and then once I saw people doing the tips, browning. <laughs> it looks rotten. Mm -hmm. You need to be an old cowboy. I am an old cowboy. <laughs> that was your last life. It's this life. <laughs> it is very, very cold. We danced and danced and danced around the fire. We chatted, we had yummy food, the s'mores and bananas and stuff. And now I'm going to brush my teeth. They're sleeping in the same bed, so they'll be warm. It's really, really cold. It's gonna take a while for me to warm my sleeping bag. I think I'm gonna change and then try and go to sleep. All right, so I'm gonna get my sleeping bag now and go to sleep. I'm not gonna lie. So cold. It is below freezing. And the sleeping bag, I mean, it works, but if I put my feet down to the bottom, oh, it's so cold. And now I have to pee. And I cannot get up. That was the coldest night I've ever had in my whole life. And I don't think I slept very well, but I got through it. I'm tired. <laughs> My sister slept just all right while I was dying over here. Dying, dying. It was the worst sleep of my life. Just suffering, just pure suffering. It's all right, we're gonna make some oatmeal. I found this great new peeing technique. I did it twice last night. <laughs> I'll, show, I'll demonstrate. I crawled up here, and then I went like this, <laughs> and like this, and then my baby wipe, and then put it in the temperature here, crawl back and sleep. Get up, guys! 
Also, I wanted to show you guys something that I got off my wish list. Two things, actually. Toilet bags. They're 100% compostable. They're made of like cornstarch or something. And you bury them and they compost in the ground. Very nice. I also got this thing, which I don't need right now because it's not like windy. So that'd be good for like windy days. I want some vitamin D. Three. So this morning we're having, I'm having oatmeal, green tea. Breakfast. It's cold. <laughs> I think the water's done. <laughs> My hands are so cold. Your daily Stop. rations of warm water. <laughs> there something that's too appealing to me, but you apparently can slide on it. <laughs> so this is the Moore's waterfall. It's been a while since I've done an ice bath. But we are here at some icy water and we're going to take a walk. She's crazy! <laughs> Definitely ice water. Ice water? <laughs> It's a little challenging to get out. That was absolutely exhilarating to do that. I just want to take a nap. Like it's very, we sunbathed. I'm on the side of the road. So I put my things up. I'm just going to change my clothes now. That's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for joining me on my first overlanding experience. It's very interesting. Uh, many more adventures to come. Make sure that you stay extraterrestrial. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.